Hello, hello, and welcome to Basic Stop Motion. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reverse your stop motion animation in post. So here is a cutout paper stop motion that I have in Dragon Frame, and I've already timed it and added enough hold to the uh, frames that I wanted. And I want my um, cat to disappear the same way it appeared at the beginning of the stop motion. I did not animate that part and I was planning on copying the uh, walk cycle a few times and reversing the beginning at the end of the loop. So I'm going to quickly export this and I'm going to open it in Premiere Pro. The next thing I gotta do is create a sequence so I'm going to drag it to my timeline and Premiere Pro automatically creates a sequence with the same exact dimensions as the video. Okay, so now we have one video which we need to divide in two separate parts. So somewhere around here, I think that's it. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Right here. So I get my razor tool and Cut it right exactly where I want um, the video to be reversed. Also, I want to have a few more loops of the walk cycle. So I'm just going to copy this, control C and paste it a few times, control or command V and that will loop a few times and if there's a gap you can just click and hit delete on your keyboard all right so now my animation starts like that loop a few times at ends now let's copy the first clip and reverse it at the end so same thing but that selected command c or command or control c and go to the end control or command v Let's get rid of that space. All right, now in order to reverse it, we have to select this video and right click on it and go to where it says speed and duration. You can change the speed if you need to, but uh, I'm assuming you have timed that in Dragon Frame. So what we are going to do here is check mark this reverse speed and click on OK. Now it should fade away the same exact way as our first video. All right, that's how you can reverse your animation. Another pro tip, if you cut your video before doing any color correction, and um, you would have to do the same color correction like five times here because uh, my video is in is cut to five separate pieces so here's a trick that i do i select all of that all the videos that can be color corrected at the same time right click on it and look for nest option you can also give it a name and it will put all your clips into one nested sequence now, if you add any color correction to the nested sequence, it's going to apply that to all the separate videos that are in this nested sequence. Let's search for Lumetri Colors, which is my to-go for color correction. And double click on that. And let's change something that will be obvious. Let's change the tint shadow. Okay, now you can see that it had changed all the videos to that same tinted that I wanted. And if you want to apply any other changes to the separate videos, you can also double click on it and it will take you to right uh, where you had all your videos and you can change stuff and go back to the nested sequence and all your changes will be saved here. Alright, this is how you can reverse your video and make a nest in Premiere Pro and I hope you found this helpful. As I had mentioned, I have another video showing how to copy and reverse your 
images um, in Dragon Frame itself. I think it is good to know how to reverse your images both in Premiere Pro and Dragon Frame and pick the one that is best for your project and what you're working on. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. As always, thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and all that good stuff. If you have any Premiere Pro questions or any post-production questions, feel free to leave them in a the comment section below. And thank you for watching. I hope I see you in the next one.